In this episode of Video Fashion News, we're looking at modern romantic collections for spring. Christian Siriano transports us to the Italian coast with a runway that is equal parts powerful and romantic. Then, step into the Video Fashion Archives to revisit the designer's dazzling career. Christian is fantastic. He's got all that it takes to be a fantastic designer. Erdem draws inspiration from two idiosyncratic women for spring 2022. Then, flashback 15 years to a contrasting collection from the London designer. The colors were quite acidic almost, so I love that contrast between something that was quite soft and something that was actually quite hard. Grab a front row seat at Iris Van Erpen's mesmerizing couture runway. Plus, don't miss our preview of fall 2022 with Wes Gordon's breathtaking Valentine's Day runway for Carolina Herrera. So the inspiration this time was drama, boldness, fabulous clothes, strong clothes for strong women. All that and more coming up on Video Fashion News. Celebrity favorite Christian Siriano presented his spring 2022 collection on the runway at New York Fashion Week. For spring inspiration, Siriano looked to his past and to the Italian women in his life. The result was a colorful, joyful runway imbued with the spirit of the Italian coast. Pieces were both strong and romantic, with clean tailoring as well as fluid gowns. Vintage lace applique was an elegant touch, while the designer's signature dramatic silhouettes stole the show. The finale showcased denim pieces from Siriano's collaboration with Gloria Vanderbilt Jeans. Siriano transported us with this powerful and romantic spring collection at New York Fashion Week. It's always scary before showtime because God, it just gets so crowded and you never know who anybody is. It's like, who are you? I don't even know who my staff is anymore. Since winning the fourth season of Project Runway in 2008, Christian Siriano has become one of Hollywood's most beloved designers and enduring reality TV success stories. The animated Maryland native had been impressing friends and family with his limitless creativity since childhood, and his boundless talent has spilled over onto the catwalk season after season. 
from the time he was little. He's, he's a very strong-willed person. I knew he was destined to do something. Christian is fantastic. He's got all that it takes to be a fantastic designer. He's very creative. He's got a lot of energy. He's got a lot of ideas. He's got a great personality and he's got a great attitude. Siriano's signature dramatic designs, paired with his keen business acumen, resulted in runway and retail success and collaborations with brands including Pala Shoes, Victoria's Secret, and ELF Cosmetics. We all know it's really difficult to cross over from reality TV into a really legitimate, viable fashion business. Christian is one of those people that has been able to do it very successfully, very smartly. He's aligned himself with some good brands that keeps himself relevant. But he also has the red carpet, and he's got a lot of celebrities that, that like him. More than like him, they adore him. He's one of those reality guys who actually has real talent and a work ethic, and he's not just trying to get by on, you know, the name that he made on a show. He's actually freakishly talented. He's unbelievably talented. He completely understands women. Whenever we have a fitting, he knows exactly what's going to work on me, and I trust him, and I love that. I love how strong his clothing is. I think it's really fantastic when women get to walk around and feel confident uh, with what they're wearing. And whenever I put on something of Christian's, I feel that way. There's a few designers that really get women and, and get their figures, and he just makes everything look like it's made for you. You know, what I love about his work is that it's really chic and sexy. And I love his cuts, especially for our shapes. Yeah. So that's what I love about him. For Siriano, chic and sexy come in every shape. His commitment to size diversity, both on the runway and in his label's inclusive sizing, has been an industry game changer. He understands that clothes aren't about what size you are, it's about proportion and design and fit, and he does that so well for women. And you know, that's why every woman looks so happy and comfortable and beautiful in his clothes. I want women that, you know, are, you know, all sizes, all shapes, and from different cultures and different parts of the world to really be able to wear a great dress, a great evening piece, and feel really good in it. I mean, it's really about feeling great in it. Christian Siriano's career is more than a dream come true. I'm doing things that I would never dream I've ever would done. Keep it going, that's my dream for the next 10. For spring 2022, Erdem weaved a love letter to London's idiosyncratic spirit. Two enigmatic and eccentric women, poet Edith Sitwell and socialite Ottoline Morrill, inspired the designer's romantic collection. The runway was dreamy and elegant, yet with an unconventional approach that was distinctly Erdem. Feminine dresses were contrasted with masculine leather brogue shoes. Pieces were offered in mismatched fabrics.
Ertam's signature use of floral motifs and intricate lace stood out on this London runway. An exquisitely romantic collection celebrating individual expression from Erdam. With a slew of fashion friends to greet and minutes to go until showtime, designer Erdem Moralio Glue is plenty busy backstage. Beauty teams perfect the hair and makeup for a polished presentation. We are doing for Erdem a kind of futuristic feline eyeliner, a bit of a, a look back at the 60s but doing it in a modern way. The style of the clothes is quite a graphic, strong look, but very feminine at the same time. So we wanted a very masculine, strong front. And then through the back, we've just left it with very beautiful hair with hardly any product in it at all. So it has a really nice movement. Um, as they walk. It was a really optimistic collection and I wanted it to feel quite, quite kind of happy. I always start with the prints um, in the season and I was, it was just this kind of idea of like, you know when you're watching kind of everything pass by on a train or in a car and that kind of squinted, kind of blurry feeling. Everything, you can kind of recognize shapes, like maybe a butterfly, maybe a leaf, um, but it wasn't kind of anything. It was just kind of passing by and kind of a lot to do with movement. Colors were quite acidic almost, so I love that contrast between something that was quite soft and something that was actually quite hard. They were, they were quite rigid shapes, quite graphic. Um, I'm usually quite floaty and quite romantic. Things became quite graphic all of a sudden, so I was really quite excited by it. I was really exploring a kind of new silhouette for myself. I really wanted to... I went back to kind of sketching with markers and that idea of something against a white pad and colour and saturation. That's what I was exploring. For the designer, there are endless possibilities as to who the Erdem woman is. She could be you. I, don't, she's, I think she's anyone. I don't know. I just I do what I do. Dutch fashion designer Iris van Herpen has become known for fusing technology with couture craftsmanship. She presented her spring 2021 Haute Couture collection at Paris Fashion Week. The collection, titled Roots of Rebirth, referenced fungi, roots, and spores. The inspiration was channeled through intricate pleating, laser cutting, and three-dimensional embroidery. The runway highlighted Van Herpen's meticulous craftsmanship and was a dazzling display of contemporary haute couture. So the inspiration this time was drama, boldness, fabulous clothes, strong clothes for strong women. You know, I'm lucky to be back on the road now and able to travel around the country and the world spending time with the Herrera clients who are the most amazing women, and they're really looking for clothes that make them feel like the most empowered, beautiful, brilliant versions of themselves. And so I kept that in mind today and wanted to create pieces that were perfect for them.
color is my obsession. I start every season by creating my palette. And it, it's, it's, I go through many, many iterations of color and shades and trial. I mix them with paint. I cut them out from books or little places I see the color. And then the fabrics are dyed to match from there. And um, I find a color is either a happy color or a sad color. It's like a very quick, it's like a very quick, no pun intended, black and white way I have of categorizing fabrics. And a sad color is kind of dusty and watered down and drab. And I think the world has enough of that. So I try to focus Herrera on the most pigment-rich, pure, vivacious colors. And I find that when you have a whole palette of those tones and those shades, you can mix them together in very unexpected ways. Uh, it was really beautiful. The colors were beautiful. The shapes were beautiful. The craftsmanship was sublime. You know, that's the way rich women want to dress. <laughs> to go out to events and parties and dinners. And it was really beautiful. I was very impressed. I think Wes is doing such a great job. Oh, it's stunning. It's really stunning. What Wes is doing, I just find to be really inspirational and just beautiful parallels between the legacy of Herrera and him doing his own thing. And it's, it was so nice being a, myself, being a New Yorker and a Latina, to see myself in the line. Um, there's so many looks. I was telling my stylist, Sarah Edmiston, I was like, and please, can we wear that? And can we? It's so exciting to leave a show feeling inspired and looking forward to wearing garments and hopefully representing a house that you love so much. There was a lot of push and pull. There was some tight kind of to the body linear pieces in a black kind of compression crepes that would then set off ruffles and exuberant outbursts of silk file or taffeta. We had a beautiful jacquard we knit with a mill in Italy that features irises and bloom with lorex, um, as well as a lot of embellishment. That craft of making clothes um, was really important to me and, and feels, felt very poignant, especially because the two gentlemen you saw come out at the end of the show were two pattern makers at Herrera, one for 20 years and one, one for 22 years. And they're retiring, this is their last show. So really front of mind to me was just that beautiful art of making beautiful clothes. Beautiful back to elegance and glamour. I mean, honestly, just doing a live runway show, period, is the most wonderful thing. It's why so many people in fashion love fashion. It's, it's the dream of seeing the clothes come to life. We did one in September as well. So the audience is smaller. There are testing procedures backstage. There are some things that are different. But it's, it's a new world, and we bravely persevere, and we keep going, and we keep trying to make beauty in, in whatever way or format that we can. such a chic woman. You can see why she's such an amazing designer because she really lives the lifestyle of an affluent woman and she dresses women that are as equally as chic and wanting style as she is. So very, very pretty collection for her. The look today for the show is quite simple. The hair is up, middle parting, and we do a low ponytail and we leave it as a loop. And then the end that sticks out, we cover the elastic with that. It's quite simple. I'm making them look very beautiful and a very simple um, hairdo. Yeah, because the main attraction here is the clothes. The 
show so beautiful. You know, I think there's no woman that really epitomizes the idea of this very ladylike polish that is really just sweeping the industry right now. It's something that we saw happening for fall and certainly moving forward as we go into the spring season. This collection is a bit inspired by the Bauhaus movement because of the linear the modernity of all the lines that they had. And so this is more or less inspiration for the, for the materials, for the fabrics. I was very intrigued always by the Bajas and the lifestyle and the whole thing. And uh, I thought that to translate it, and also in the embroideries that you will see. The most important is this, in this collection is that it's very fluid and very soft and all the dresses have a movement. It's like a, a very feminine but at the same time very romantic for the evening and um, because the Bauhaus you would say is very strong no? because it's very linear. Beautiful collection, you know, news everywhere is color and certainly Carolina addressed the idea of color. The colors I took from the Bakelite jewels, you know, the, the, the bangles and Bakelite, and that's why you see the bright greens and the bright uh, yellows and red and touches here and there. I thought it was really nice. I love the green stuff. I'm not a red girl, but I loved all the green stuff. And mixing print, the idea of those lovely little charming bird prints back to plaids, and just her really sophisticated palette. I thought it was exquisite, just beautiful. I mean, both, both kind of young and fresh, but also, you know, old world and the taste level, just exquisite. I also liked a lot of the geometry and the beadwork and the really beautiful little details on the white cotton blouses that were on the runway. What did you We're leaving, sorry. It was yes, beautiful. I always think and it's consistently beautiful, it's chic, it's always sophisticated and it's also like and there's this little bit of an element of a little youthful spirit to it, which I really love. Well, I think I'm going to give them uh, some happiness because <laughs> these colors make people very happy. <laughs> and women uh, like to wear color in the spring and the summer, especially when you have a little tan. <laughs> That's a wrap on this episode of Video Fashion News. Tune in next time for another fashion experience.